Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Quarry. This is part four. In the last video, we went through chapter six and seven, so we're going to be going into chapter eight in this one. And I'm going to do something in the intro besides say a bunch of numbers. And that's hit continue, I guess. Ryan, we're going to play as Ryan in chapter eight. So, uh, yeah, I would catch you up on what happened, but you already know because you've been following along with the series. So. There's really no point in the intro. I should just start with the gameplay. Just should just start right here. Oh well. Chapter 8. The Belly of the Beast. I wonder what Ryan's going to do in this one. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What? <gasps> Ryan. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I'm I'm a little unclear about what we've been over. Hmm. I don't want to tell her to shut up. Let's see what Caitlin says. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut Laura up. Laura doesn't respect <laughs> oh, you. No way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. A lot of times it doesn't really feel like Caitlin's an actual character in the game. She kind of feels like a weird guide that's alongside. Like, you don't really play much as her. There's... I don't know, I feel like she doesn't have much of a dynamic with the rest of the group, except maybe Jacob, which they established in the opening scene. Anyway. You said you... Yeah, you said you heard a woman? Yeah. Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying? When you escaped? Why? This is gonna resonate with him, the hag. What do you know? He's gonna mention the podcast. Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. <laughs> You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. It's because she doesn't respect us. That's why she did that. That's okay. I don't so, really care. Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Oh, no idea. Why would we know that? What makes you think I know? Or we can be mean. I wouldn't even tell you. Uh, I'm okay with Ryan getting the gun arrested away from him, though. He's been hanging on to that thing and not using it for the entire game. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, uh, my brother in Christ, you chose not to fire with the gun. And, uh, you're right. But, he also didn't fire with it at the times when I wasn't in control, so. Let's, um, yeah, let's say guarded. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. We have been here for two months. She's I right. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Wait, I just realized that. I'll come back to that in a second. I have questions. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, so just random house. Um, maybe there's another way. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. <laughs> okay, any clothes are going to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I like how she's just I'm ignoring Dylan. If no I one's talking to Dylan. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with Could they have made what? it? Uh, yeah, what they said. Could they have made it any more obvious that Dylan can be dead? 
They just stuck him in the back of the scene and they were just like, yeah, we'll just... Caitlyn won't address him. She'll only talk to Ryan. Vice versa. Okay. Friendly. Chris has nothing to do with this. Aggressive. No way you're going alone. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. <laughs> what? Fine, do whatever you want. <laughs> that was a weird you thing to say. Speak. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, it was funny. a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long <laughs> do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. I like how Ryan just shoes Dylan away. Yeah. Okay, bye Dylan. You're gonna go <laughs> on your own with one hand out there in the woods where there's like four werewolves running around. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Okay, so we're playing as Laura now. This doesn't feel right. Have you been there? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. Hmm. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Chris Rage, you... pretty well. It seems like, like he knows him better than the rest of the sure counselors. Are you sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? <laughs> Let's be reflective. You know, when you really think about it, no one knows anybody. Um, I should ask you the same thing. Let's provoke him. I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. He is. He is a werewolf, Snip. though. A hundred percent. You know, I bet I understand what the Hackets were doing, and I understand why Travis kept them locked up now that I think about it. There it is. Hackett House. I think so he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods look at this place no but it's where his mom lives i think never been there but oh we saw her looking for answers it's probably the best place to start that's where jacob is being so, imprisoned uh, wait how do we get there the hacking compound mean? how do we get to the house that's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. <laughs> oh my god. Angry. Whose side are you on? Okay, let's be compassionate. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hmm. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> What the fuck? What? Okay, I'm gonna pause it real quick. <laughs> they stood on that thing for like a full five seconds. They even had enough time for Ryan to be like, careful, it's gonna go. And for her to say, I got you, but not enough time to take literally one step off. 
one step. Okay. Okay, I have two things that I want to briefly discuss, just while we have the time. First, uh, Laura said in the cabin just now that it had been two months since the counselors had been there, and I realized that she was right. And I hadn't thought about this before, but with two months passing, that means that there have been two full moons since the counselors have been there. This is the second one tonight. So what happened on the first one? You know, when uh, Laura was um, chained up in the prison, in, in the jail, and Max turned into a werewolf right in front of her and slashed out her eye, right? That was a month ago, apparently. So why, like, the counselors were already at the summer camp. And if Chris Hackett and his kids are werewolves, then what happened that night? While the, like, while the camp was going on. Because a full moon happens about every 30 days. I don't know, that's... This... I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Do I have it right? That's... I'm right, right? Like, that's a little weird. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to talk about. Second thing is, I think I understand now what the Hackett's plan is. And why Travis had them locked up. Because I couldn't figure that out. I was like, why leave them locked up? Like, are you just figuring out what to do with them? But I think the plan is for them to hunt down the werewolf that turned Chris. And that's the plan. He was like, well, we just keep the, we keep Max and uh, Laura here locked up and then we kill the werewolf that transformed Chris and then it has a domino effect. It untransforms Chris, it untransforms his kids, it untransforms Max, right? Um, and then there's no more werewolf problem. And I think that that's what they were going to do tonight, and I think that's what they're doing. I think Jedediah and Baba, uh, Bobby, I almost said Baba, Bobby are, are both Hackett's, and I think this is a whole, this is a whole, like, Hackett hunt happening right now, and they're hunting down the original that, um, turned Chris, which is either somebody named Ian, because they found that dog collar, right, or perhaps it's even Silas the Dog Boy that we heard uh, whispers about in the beginning. Because we haven't encountered, or well, we've encountered different werewolves and we don't know who's who. So we may have already encountered them. I'm not sure. It, they may be out there somewhere. It'll be interesting to see. Okay, that's all I want to say. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? She's not coming up. Oh. Well, the gun got wet. Is it no good Stops anymore? Your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my God, Laura! Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Her eyes back. It regenerates. Glad you have grandma. No shit. <laughs> Can you see yellow in my eyes? Uh huh. Define yellow. Shit. We haven't got much time. She's transforming. She's in the early stages of the transformation. Okay. Well, this has been great. Let's look around for a tarot card, shall we? <laughs> That's my number one priority. Save their lives, eh. Get, gotta get more tarot cards so I'm not embarrassed at the end of the chapter summary. Mm, these look like nice these weapons. These must have been from the quarry days. Old quarry no tools. Duh. They crack rocks, I'm they can crack skulls. So this is the actual quarry down here, where they mined stone and uh, whatever else. I'm gonna go all the way back here. Here I go. Follow me, Ryan, like a lost little puppy dog. That's right. See, what is this? What is, what is this? It's a lockbox. All this right, miner's lunchbox. Makes sense. Tight bastards just can't pay us. Last time I trust a hack it. Hang on, I want to read that. They always they always pick it up, glance at it, make some sort of quippy comment, and then put it down. I want to read it. Okay. 
Oh, great. Yeah, we're gonna need to have the text up. Yeah, I can't read this. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your services at Hackett's Quarry will no longer be required. It is my intention to return the site of the central quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. You'll be paid until the end of this coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and wish you well in your, all your future endeavors. Yours faithfully, Septimus Hackett. And then they wrote, Type Bastard just can't pay us last time I trust a hack it. Interesting. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice camera angle there. Okay, let's uh let's go up here now, I guess. Interesting. Uh I'm gonna take the long way just in case we get a tarot card. I like collecting those tarot cards. By the way, I just want to address a uh, question I've seen asked in the comments, which is, um, am I going to replay this game again to get a different outcome? And the answer is yes, because I did that with Until Dawn, and it was really fun. Um, I beat the original Until Dawn in 14 videos. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe me taking 14 videos to beat a game now? Oof. Um, and uh, afterwards, I immediately spent the next four videos Did you hear that doing too? different choices. So I'm going to do that too with this it's one. Her. Who? The hag of Hackett's Quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Yeah, true. So yeah, I will be doing another playthrough. Oh my god, Ryan snuck ahead of us. Do you see this? I've got the gun, numb nuts. Let me be in front. Shit. Think anyone heard that? No, um, they can't have done. They can't have done. Not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's they can't have done. Keep moving. Yeah. You can tell that Supermassive's uh, in the UK, I think. It's a very... Careful. I'm gonna Jeez. look that up. Yep, Supermassive is in the UK. I was about to say, you could tell, because, uh, they can't have done is a very UK expression. Sorry, okay, just gonna go back. I was like, it sounds so weird hearing it with an American English accent. Just wanted to see, okay. Let me go in front of you, Ryan. You are so weird. Just look at this place. Is Emma just sitting in the car this whole time? Oh. <laughs> what was that look on her face for? I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. <laughs> okay. Laura's a freak, y'all. Alright. Let's keep heading up. I like how all these lights in this abandoned quarry that nobody's been in oh, for a long is, time. Uh... Shut up, Ryan. Yeah, I know you're really high right now. We get it. Um, they're all on 24 hours a day <laughs> Apparently Yeah, just in case somebody wants to take the tour Um. Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought That would make more sense considering the lights are on so forget what I just said Hmm. A long way down. Yeah, what does this sign say? Cave in, do not enter. Whoa. Where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. These two. Somebody needs. Where are you going, Ryan? 
Why were you even going over there? So what's your deal then? What do you mean? Wow. The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? <laughs> She's just like, oh shit, you got me. Um, what box would and that be? what box would that be? <laughs> Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, yes. Start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't that want is to talk he does. to you anymore. Oh wow, charming! I am assuming you're single. Yeah. Why? No reason. She's got you there, but also there's really no reason okay. for her to be I talking to you light. like that. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? How about the person with the gun goes first? Yeah. Oh. Wheel of Fortune. I wonder if, if Laura respects Ryan, then he can have the gun here, maybe? Looks promising. But considering Ryan saw Nick throw Abby across the room and crumple into a, a bag of bones on the floor, and he said, Abby, are you okay? Um, I think it's better for Laura to have the gun. <laughs> hey, is everything okay over there, you two? Yeah, what are you two, what are you two rascals up to? Hey, Nick, don't play so rough. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. No prohibition. These are run running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarries are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. By the way, I can't resist a good roast. You guys are Ryan. You know that, right? You would be Ryan in these situations. Walking around with your hand at your sides, not not swinging your arms, just being like, oh, I don't know, I don't know about it. Well, what about, oh, you know, hey, did you know that uh, during the prohibition they had to have run running tunnels like this? Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I, I am single. Yeah. I think this is it. Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, See, too. that's y'all. Just think of yourself as Ryan Jolly? collectively. You're all Ryan. That's thousands of you right there, standing there as personified as one person. You're only mad because you know I'm right. Who we get to play as Caitlyn? Fun. What's Caitlyn up to these days? Is she magically uh, back at the lodge? Okay, what happened I guess. Here? Eh, it's complicated. Wait, Gosh. how does Caitlyn have I a gun? I think this place was so cozy. Wait. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. So. Hang on, how does Caitlyn have a gun? Because I thought Ryan had the only gun. Let's back up, because Ryan, Dylan, and Caitlyn were all in there, and there was only one gun, and Ryan had it, and then Lauren, Laura took it. Because Caitlyn did have a gun, but... She just like turned around and was like, oh, here you go, sir, to Bobby in the lodge earlier. So where did this one come from? How are there, did I miss it? Did we get another gun? I must have just missed it. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? 
the cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. <laughs> Caitlin likes to giggle at herself a lot. Optimistic. Maybe it'll come true. <laughs> a ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. Can we trips move down the along? Slope, get the hang of it. <laughs> well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? Let's put the quips to the side for a second. This needs to be a productive trip. Oh, that's it, huh? Wait. What? Emma's a werewolf. She's is taking there, a nap right now. Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? <laughs> They're schnoggin', dude. Old, buddy. Jacob and Emma are making out. You know you can look through the window, right? Look through the window. You don't have to look... You don't have to open it. Door first. Okay. Ah! Oh, she makes me! She makes me! Hey, oh. hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit. It burns. Oh, my God. Oh. I, Did you... I'm wait. so sorry. Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know what to do. I was really Dylan. scared, and I thought... It's not mace. It's bear uh, spray. <laughs> air freshener. Oh, it's air freshener. Oh. Oh. It's all I could find in the van. You have bear spray, don't you? Cause hey, um, you use the taser. Where's I don't know. Abby? Uh. I just can't believe Nick would. I can't believe any of this. Yeah, I uh, I don't think it was really Nick. No, it was not. It was the she werewolf. Can't be gone. She can't. Comfort. Oh, comfort. Yeah, come on. It was quick. She didn't suffer. She was dead in seconds. That's true. Actually. What? What's wrong with you? Just fix the car. <laughs> Dude, How did this all get so fucked up? <laughs> I know. We're gonna get out of here soon. Motioning towards it without the hand okay. is kind of funny. Can you fix it? Emma didn't no. find this comforting at all. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're going to find it. That sounds like a long shot. I'm a little annoyed about something. I just want to get it off my chest. The fact that it was like, mm -mm, Emma didn't find your, com your comments comforting. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I spent the entire game sitting in the car that you didn't find it comforting. We watched her get her spine ripped out in front of us. I don't think it's necessarily my job as Caitlyn to be comforting to her about this, okay? We're, we're the ones that have been traumatized. It happened right in front of us. Eh. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. I'm sorry they're not men, Yeah, let's Dylan. split up because that worked so well for us last time. There's a shelter under the lodge. You should be safe there for now. All right, all right. Thought. You know, if Ryan was here, Dylan would have been like, ooh, ooh, me too. I want to go. Ooh, I want to help. I'll do anything. I'll do anything, Ryan. Sorry, it's just two chicks. Once again, Emma goes off on her own. Uh... That was really loud. Y'all are really bad about leaving doors wide open, I've noticed. 
What was that? Huh? Oh. What was that? Constance. Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. So Travis has come too, I guess. That's good. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. <laughs> These two. There's no reason for y'all to be bantering this much. What's in here? I'm gonna look around in here. Oh, the Empress. I found it. That's right. I got a... I got a nose for this kind of thing. I picked up the set. This way, come on. Hey, I'm, I'm walking around here. I'm walking here. What is this? Clue discovered. Rum still. So Constance is the name still. of the I guess old woman, sorry. Booming. I got distracted. Constance, Travis, Bobby, Jedediah, and then Chris. Yeah. They're all over the place, aren't they? I'm guessing Constance and Jedediah are mom and pop. Right? And then so Bobby... Maybe, well, maybe Bobby's a cousin, actually. Oh, shit! That's Jacob! Careful. Okay. Do not slip on the oil slick. By the way, this is Jacob right here? Yep, yep. Red means scary, y'all. It's coming from a bed. It's okay, it's in... It's in a cage, an electrified cage. Jacob. Hey. Oh, is that Nick? Right. Jesus. It makes what sense. To you? Dude, you've been here for like 15 minutes. <laughs> they broke him. Open cage. Wait, Ryan, don't. Oh. Jeez, uh -oh. man, what are you doing to him down there? Well, that's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. Okay, Jacob's back. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Okay. Okay, there's a box. He's in box, or he's in cage number three. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, it's Kaylee. She's dead. Oh. No. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no, not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? He didn't do anything. I guess she doesn't know about Laura and Max. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Stop, Laura. What? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've it's already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Yeah, he's, he's trying to tell her that it's Listen, not Chris. Okay. They said okay. that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? 
We've got to be sure. You promised. Okay. Fine. Fine. You gotta get me out of here. Be serious, man. Yeah. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it. You fucking piece of shit. Get away. Get away from me. Huh. They're close. Yep, they sure are. Okay, we gotta get to that box, right? Help Jacob. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay. I'm okay, so, just gonna leave him. All I know is you have to open my door and that door. Oh my god, and not and definitely the not other one. Door. Okay, oh, cool. all right. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to help. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Okay. Path chosen. <laughs> You've chosen the path. Okay. Hang on. F seven, five, three. Okay, so we want three and five. How does this work? Breaker one, breaker three, breaker two, breaker four. One, two, three, four. So what does each one do? I don't know what... What is this? What does it do? Jacob, I am trying my best here. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. I don't understand, like... Okay, so... So they flip back. Let's do four and one. Four and one? Because that makes five. Okay. Hey, dude. Nice. All right now, don't fuck it up. <laughs> okay. And then two and one make three. We don't want to do four and three. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Because four and three make seven, and that's the one that Nick is in. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't I don't know if there's a way back up. Yeah, there's probably not. <laughs> There's probably not. Where is he going? How is he gonna get back up? Jacob appreciates your help. Why, sure as shit, hope so. Not my God, God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Yeah, you, you've been saying that for a while now. What? So, you. You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what what if it had been me or 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 Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. But you said his birthday card. Take, take it all back. back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, 
I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Jesus, I feel really bad for Travis now. Yes. Yes. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. I'm not really sure oh, what she was expecting. He is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. What the fuck her is this? Is inside her. What the That's fuck why is I this? Need to find the key tonight. What is this music? When I say yes, you say no. What is this? That might have been the most inappropriate piece of music I've ever heard in a video game. Welcome back. Did you miss me? I kind of like it. Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? I actually brought you two this time. Eat shit. Yeah. The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters, only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. You're talking about Constance? She's gonna get killed by werewolves? The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the hmm. wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Details. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I would love to see more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Uh, oh, do we want to watch the Empress? Let's watch the Empress. <laughs> Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. I want that. I want that one. How do I get that one? How do I get that one? Oh. I dropped my earbud. Chapter 9. The Are Matriarch. The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. I have a feeling Constance is the matriarch. Jedediah is her brother. Just, like, walk to the main road. And this isn't Bobby the main is. Road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile. The cousin. That way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess this is me now. What? <laughs> You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Dylan. <laughs> He was like, I don't want to be Hooky McHook face. Okay, um... Let, let's be... Wah, wah, depressed. Nobody's ever gonna treat me the same, are they? Some people won't, but fuck them. Would you date a guy with one hand? I don't think it's me you're concerned about, is it? I think we missed our shot. <laughs> Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. It's interesting that they try to set it up. Anyway, it looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. <laughs> Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. It is interesting that they set up both Caitlyn and Dylan as like, we both like Ryan and they're like rivals, but they don't, oh, they don't Relax. give Caitlyn and, okay. and Ryan any screen time together at all. Oh look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. Like there's no, there's no scenes, there's no chance to like build any sort of rapport between the two of them. The best we had was when Put Jacob came running up. Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch. Run your fucking head up. Oh man. Bitch. Oh Lord. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Okay, just back into a corner, back into a corner. Gotcha. Don't pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the oh. fuck off me. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What? Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, uh wake up. Wake oh, up. poor Jedediah. Uh, wait, wait, oh, maybe wake he is... Up. He is her husband. Oh. Oh! oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Oh Dude. man, I feel I feel kind of bad. No more party. No more protecting anyone, Travis. Wait, did you just drop the gun? Where's your gun? You just you just left it? Oh man, she just left poor Ryan to get stabbed. I like how Bobby's just like, yeah, I'll just stab you real quick. I can't believe we just kill we they introduced the old grandma and then we just kill her. Why are you why is this your idea, Ryan? Oh, I think we'll get in the dumb waiter. <laughs> what a weird decision. It's funny though. Okay. All right, that's not good. No, it is not. You do need to pull it out. You do need to, or yes, you do need to pull it. You do need to pull it out. 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 Stop pulling. Pull out. Pull out. I know you're gonna bleed, but... Fuck! Now apply oh, pressure. Okay. Oh. I mean, considering people's got, people have gotten their chain, uh, their chains, their hands chainsawed off and a bandage put on it and they're just like, oh, I guess I'm okay now. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna have some quips. 
I, I, I think we can afford to pull out the knife and be okay. We'll be right as rain soon. What am I looking at here? Oh, let's read this. Or what's that? Kaylee's letter. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Is there... Can I read it? Well, can I read it? I want to read it. What? I want to read it! Because when you... There's no way to, like, read it. Damn, okay, maybe we can read it later? I don't know. It's just empty. An empty wardrobe? What could that be? Okay, let's not open that yet. I was about to say, don't look in that bucket. Yeah. Can't be anything good. Okay, is it here? Oh look, there's Constance. Well, she had longer hair, and she was a little bit younger. She looks very serious. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, this is either the hallway or bathroom. I don't know which one. It's locked, okay. <laughs> oh, you can look through the keyhole. Conventional keyhole. <clears throat> okay. Let's go out here then. This is also locked. <gasps> um... Block door. Hide. Hide. Do not block the door, then he'll know that you're in here. Under bed, in cabinet, in cabinet. <laughs> it's, I mean... What the... the Oh, he locked it. No. He's just passing through. Oh, see, he looks underneath the bed, dude. achievement just now. You're breathtaking. Nice. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god. So that was good that we didn't hide under the bed, I'm huh? I'm close. Stand by. Over. The knife with you, by the way? Did you not keep the knife with you? I would have. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! You're a fucker. Oh, good one, Ryan. You got him. You got him. He'll never recover from that one. 
Okay, we gotta save Laura here. These hackets. Hide or run? Oh my god. I hate these. Hide. Oh, perfect! You can do it. Let's go, Shelly Duvall Jr. How did she get away from him? I guess he's a slow old guy. What, what am I looking at with the piano? I don't know why I'm looking at this. <laughs> Why would we play it? That's got to be a horrible decision, right? There are Hunting trophy. Around here. Are there really? Is that a bear skull? Can I see it? Uh, that's what that looks like, I guess. Okay. Oh, wow. A lot of taxidermy here. Hackett's quarry, indeed. Let's go over here. Oh. Oh, oh. I got the sun. What is this? Oh, is it moving on to a new? How do you do it? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Gotta get these QTs. Can't miss these QTs. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. Oh yeah, she's got... She's got werewolf strength right now. That's why she's able to do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's light sensitive. Attack or run? Okay, what's your position? What's you didn't position? run. You didn't run. I told you to run, you didn't run! Oh, can't shoot what you don't see. Oh, oh no! Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Nick's on the loose now. Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Wait! Uh. 
Huh. I wonder if he hesitated because of my choices. This isn't gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. Alright, Ryan. Let's go, buddy. I am invested, like I want them to live. I want them to get through this. I want I want Ryan Lore to make it through this, even though they're both annoying. I still like them. I still want them to make it through. Oh damn. They just leave doors open. They just leave doors open all the time. All the characters in this game wide open. Oh my gosh, it's like Resident Evil 7 over here. That is a lot of space in between the wall. Okay, jeez. Don't scare me like that. Oh. Big guy, he can't get through there, I don't think. I'd be surprised if he could. Oh my gosh. Oh, he listening. What? <laughs> Thought I heard something. I think it's okay. Seems like when the red colors fade, it's safe to let go. What? Oh, that's the knife that you dropped, you idiot. This is my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me! You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can... you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! oh. Laura. Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, oh. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> oh, you two Ryan. jokesters. Oh, how bad is it? I feel like they're gonna be friends after this is all over. I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? Really? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? <laughs> Mocking. I didn't want to say it. Nah, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Is, is Ryan dying right now? They're kind of acting like Am he I is. Dying? Oh. He's he lost just asked. a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? We don't have the regenerative powers. Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. Laura, are you thinking about turning him into a va a werewolf? Not a vampire. Ryan, if you let me bite you, what? If you Ooh. let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Ryan, I don't have much time. 
I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friends, too. Yep. It's looking more and more like that's what we gotta do. Unless we can find the one that you turned... Me. Chris. I live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. That's tough. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call. For now. So we doing this or no? But... But... She can, it went like, oh my gosh, this is a tough decision. I feel like I'm on the... I'm on the side of accepting, like, cause on, on, oh my god, move the chair. Cause on one hand, what she's saying makes sense, and it is risky, obviously, but I feel like I'm kinda all in. But I, I feel like we have to kinda be all in on the, we have to kill the original werewolf to transform us all back at this point. I feel like if I decline, Ryan just dies. If I decline, Ryan will just die. Because they keep saying, like, he's lost a lot of blood, he's gonna die. And so, but if I accept, I'll turn into a werewolf. But not just yet. Like, how long ago did Laura get bit, you know? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we're gonna have some time. And... Plus, it'll just be more interesting. <laughs> the more werewolves, the better. I'm gonna accept. I'm doing it. It's more fun that way. It's the more fun decision. Do it. Now, but hey. does she just bite him like this, though? She doesn't have the teeth. Uh, yeah, how do you do it? Nice and tender for you. Plus, Nick is out of the cage now, and I just feel like even if Ryan doesn't bleed out, he'd be dead meat. You know? Anyway. Not gonna pull away. Not gonna pull away. Okay, okay, okay! Jeez. You are fully human when you did that. <laughs> so weird. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. I mean, if we're not careful, Laura's gonna leave Max for Ryan. Fuck. We got I got an achievement. You got it. The achievement is phlebotomy. All right, so everyone left is a werewolf <laughs> or a hackett. Everyone's a werewolf or a hackett now, except for Dylan and Caitlin. Oh, and Jacob and Emma, I guess. I don't know where they are. Where's Jacob? Where did he go? He wasn't pulled out by the scruff of his neck like uh, Ryan was by Bobby from the quarry, so he must have gone somewhere. Oh, well, uh, we're catching up with these two. Out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for, specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so chassis. we're looking for... I like that word. Engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Kayla knows her way around cars and guns. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. I'm just looking yet? around. Not yet. Keep looking. Can I walk around again now, please?
Can I walk around now, please? There's gotta be- oh my gosh. Caitlin was walking with purpose. Look! Look, they just leave these- they just leave the doors open! Everywhere they go, these kids! They're just like, whatever, I don't care. And they just leave the door open. <laughs> whatever, bruh. Hmm. It's the polite thing to do even when there's not crazy monsters after you, you know? Just looking for a tarot card. And then I'll leave. I'll leave. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. God, the character sometimes gets. Oh, wait. I think I just saw something. Oh my gosh, okay. I thought I just saw something crawling in the distance, did I not? Hang on, hang on. I gotta. I'm gonna finish exploring up here, please. If you will excuse me. Dylan's gotta shuffle up here. <laughs> what is that? Calendar? August. Full moon! Well, the 22nd. This bitch has had it all planned out. Yeah. I don't know. I can't really tell you what uh what their plan is. Scrapyard note. Keep this off the books. Who's T? Mm -hmm. T. That's Travis. Looks like these so guys Travis? are cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. Yeah. You said it. Cooking the books. Why would they need to do that? I guess, here, look, can I see it? SUV buy damage. Keep this off the books and out the way. T. Hmm. So Travis was basically, the reason that they were able to get away with being werewolves for decades is because Travis was the sheriff and he was covering for them. And before that it was Hank, who also seemingly was a hackett. So the Hackett's, unsurprisingly, run Hackett's Quarry. I know that's not coming as a surprise to anyone. But it is interesting to... to see all the details for it. Okay. We can go through here. I think I'll do that. Scary. <laughs> yeah. That's so annoying. Yeah. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. Just any loud noise. I mean, if you're on, on edge, any loud noise is going to set you off. So, yeah. Um, okay, wait. Did I just... Oh, this is... The metal's like bent right there. Hang on, I want to go around. I'm on the lookout for tarot cards. Give me tarot. I want a tarot card. Tarot card? <laughs> look at Caitlyn, she's trying to look at it, she's power walking. 
<laughs> she was walking so fast to keep up with me. That was funny. I like I like the idea that she was like, I'm just walking naturally. This is the this is the speed I always walk at. Yeah, I always walk like this. I'm not trying to compete with you or anything. Huh? <laughs> Don't think I'm trying to compete with you or anything. This is how I always walk. This is my normal walk. Okay, sad to say, no tarot cards or anything of interest in the side paths. Okay, we're we're walking on top of the shipping containers. Okay, it goes back down here. Hi, Caitlin. I'm walking over here to see if there's a tarot card. If you, would you like to join me? Oh, oh, you were probably losing your patience with me. Just now. You were probably like, will he stop going over there? There's no tarot cards. Ugh, cringe. Oh, I roll my eyes. And then I got one. And ironically enough, it's judgment. I dedicate this tarot card to you. Because you were passing some judgment just now. Oh. Discarded signage. What just happened? It just instantly went into my menu. I don't know why. What's this? It's a sign. <laughs> Aram Scare. Seeing us, Caitlin? Hey, that's the fortune teller. Is it the hag? The hag of Hackett's Quarry? Eliza the fortune teller. We know her name now. Eliza. Now we can finally, we can finally call her that. Caitlin, no offense, but you look so funny walking around with that thing. <laughs> uh. I like how these lights just turn on. We didn't, we never asked you to do that. There's actually, okay, there's nothing over here. Which is kind of irritating. Dylan has like the longest neck of all time. Are you seeing this? He's like a giraffe. He's like a submarine. <laughs> That's like that's like him when he's looking around. I came to the other side of this just to see if I could find anything. Oh my god. Yeah, look at it. Look. Bam it, bam it. Bam it, bam it. He's raising his head above water to look around for clues. Okay. Okay, I hate to say it, but the side paths um, here are really dissatisfying. And the fact that the lights keep turning on is annoying. Let's go up these steps, I guess. I wanted to go back and forth and just make sure I didn't miss Look. anything. Ooh. Yes? What? Okay, that was a weird transition. So, you ever operated a crane before? I don't know, why I was there a transition there? Pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, uh -huh. why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Anxious. Can I have the gun? Um. Watch my back. Sure. Yeah. Sure thing. Um. Just uh, watch my back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got this, Dylan. Can't believe I'm rooting for you now, Dylan. But I am. I mean, you're walking around with one hand. 
Wait. All right. Okay. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. That's a good one. Okay. Why are we having the guy with works. one hand do this? All right. Not too complicated. I mean, Welcome back, grabber. I what the hell is going on? I feel like this is so different than using the crane oh, game. Okay. We're letting the guy with one hand do this because he was All good right. at the crane game in an arcade? Here goes nothing. I thought Caitlyn was Miss. Oh, I'm so good at the. I'm so good at cars and guns and shit like that. Don't drop it on her. All right, cool. You did it. Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time. <laughs> It's amazing that you operated oh, the heavy machinery I mean, without any training. Try and get this thing running. Oh, score. It must just not be that hard. Oh shit. Okay, I understand why they have the lights now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, Warren Caitlin, yes. Holy shit! Oh fuck! Dylan, get the damn werewolf off the damn car! Oh my god! Uh, oh. Hurry the fuck up! Oh, slam car, slam car! Let's go! Let's go! Smash it! Oh no! Okay. Where's your gun? Drop it. Drop it on it. Drop it on it. Drop the car on it. Drop the car on it. Like holding my breath, I was pressing A so hard. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. <laughs> well, is the car made of silver though? Isn't it just gonna get back up? That was cool. Where's the gun? Okay, you have it. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay. Back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. Wait, did you get the rotor arm? Did she get it? Or... I thought she said she got it. Right? We are not empty-handed, are we? Are we going back empty-handed? Ooh, Eliza's not gonna like that. She likes for us to bring her offerings. So much for spending your first night after camp at a luxury spa, Em. Oh my god, we're playing as Emma. What are you even doing here? What? We're in the storm cellar? Well, nothing's getting through those doors, so... Why don't I feel safe? I'll tell you why. It's because you're not. Look at that. 
Why does she look so, like, out of it? Yeah. Claw marks, cool. Someone tried to cover up what happened here. Yeah, that's where Max got... got attacked. Um... Can I say, I think it's really funny that, um, a lot of the... Oh! oh Hierophant! I got it. Um, a lot of the, uh, characters... Well, I guess it's just... Max, Laura, and Emma. But they got changed into, like, super unflattering clothes. <laughs> Something over here, what is this? You seeing this? Yeah, it's a breaker box. The main fuse is gone. Oh. What's this? Silver bullet? Silver shell? Silver shells. Uh-huh. Well, guess that solves the mystery of the missing fuse. These fucking hunters are everywhere. What am I looking at right now? Oh, oh, it's this again. Okay, sorry. I just had my back turned. Okay. Oh, that's the ladder that goes into Chris's office. Let me look over here real quick and make sure I don't have anything else to look at. Um, I don't think I do. Yeah, okay, I've already done all this. All right. Yeah, I've looked around pretty much everywhere here, I think. I don't think I've missed anything. So let's go ahead and check out the ladder. <gasps> Visions of Snake. Hello, little trap door. Where do you go? If you've been watching my Elden playthrough, little heavy on the you understand that reference. Place, not gonna lie. Okay. That's because of the step earlier when I had Dylan come down. So now it's one more until it comes off. The Emma sections feel so unsatisfactory. They feel it feels like she is so useless to the group. She is not helpful. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Is that even in front of the door? <laughs> I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No, oh. her sense of smell is awesome now. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Yeah, let's add it to the list. Okay. You know, I really was expecting Laura to just be like the first kill in the prologue and not to be a playable character later. This is pretty cool. I didn't realize she was going to be such a major character. Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Ryan's already calling her, my dear. Oh. Watch your step. Yep. So I guess you're regenerating now, huh, Ryan? Ooh, ugly chair. My favorite. What? what was that? 
anything. It's chained up. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. No way, is it really? happening right now. Bro, is Bobby holding off that werewolf right now? It's funny every time it happens. This feels so like Weirdly pa paced. Weirdly, like, rushed here. Aw. Feel bad for Bobby. Oh, oh, he's knocked out. Just like in the movies. Wait, did we just kill him? Chris is dead just like that? Oh. Okay. Wait, how does she have clothes on? How <laughs> does she have clothes on right now? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so I guess we got him. Thanks. Um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. Wow. So... What now? Everyone's back to normal? I feel like there's more to it. Huh? There's gotta be more to it. Oh. <sighs> you think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh Chris wasn't the first. Uh-huh. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. He's the first? What? He was the he was patient zero? Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. Ooh, don't say that. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. The proper term is Romani. I believe. Anyway, those sightings up and down the coast, a uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense, yeah. Wait, what? He must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. Okay, yeah. We, we can help those who are still alive. Mean, in what world would I help you? Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, 
everyone gets better. Everyone uh, who's still alive, anyway. So that was their original plan, was to kill Silas. And okay, then would... okay, so where would we even find him? I got a cheap exactly where to find him. Above the okay, law. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. You want to get some clothes on, Laura? Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> maybe we can get some from Travis's dead mom, whose face you blew off. I'm sure she has some clothes in this house. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Interesting. We can still the come sun. out on top. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. Mm -hmm. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely, but he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. Yeah, I got three cards. Nice. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? What? What? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. Did you see what that did to us? What? Yeah, here we go. Okay, six years ago. Oh my god, I thought it was like 60 years ago no. or something. Here's the freak show fire. What have they done? What have they done? Oh! The Hackett's! <laughs> Is that Silas? Silas my boy! <laughs> what? That's not good. What were those just doing out here? I mean, do it. Do, do these QTs really matter? Oh well. When I do my everyone dies playthrough, I can just have it hit her. So what does she do here? Does she give him the power of lycanthropy or... Oh wait, no. This is... Oh, this is the Hackett Sheriff. Or no, it is... What? Putting blood on her face. It 
Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 Hmm. The tower. That's the one that I didn't get earlier. Why are you showing me that one? That's so mean. That's so mean no, that you showed no, me the one I didn't no. get. My poor boy. You see what they did to us? How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him. Armed with silver. Trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid kid. Little Silas. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Mm. I think I have really helped myself. I've really pulled myself up by my bootstraps. All I needed was a small $1 million loan to start my business. So, I don't think I really need your help. Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. Okay, hang on. Wait, what? So Max is back to oh, normal? What the, what the fuck? Oh, he has no Why idea. Why am I top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Laura! What? Hmm. How the hell am I gonna get down? Wait. Has Dawn broken? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, no! No, it's because Chris is dead. Sorry, I was just like... ...spaced on that. Okay, it's because Chris was killed. Domino effect. He's no longer a werewolf. Got it. I thought maybe Dawn had broken for a second. You're on an island, and please stay on it. You're gonna want to stay here on this island, Max. Do not leave. I know you don't know that, but luckily I'll be here to help guide you. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, Emma's got them. Oh, oops. I didn't even, it didn't even you got me register too. for me that they were the same. Also, if you don't take that stuff as Emma, then oh my okay. god. Gotta find Laura. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You know what's funny is like whose clothes are these then? Because Emma came out of the lake in her underwear. So these aren't hers. Are these Laura's? Laura and Emma, both all about the crop top. This is funny though. I'm glad it was it was worth it. Harbinger Don't Motel. Just gone to the Harbinger Motel. The aptly named Harbinger Hotel or Motel. Okay. Well, you know. Oh man, they just don't, they just, the clothes just don't fit well, do they? So the only werewolves that are out there right now are Caleb and Silas, right? The white wolf. I'm wondering... Have we seen... Ryan said he saw Silas at, at the cabins. So wait, is Silas the one that, that attacked... 
Dylan, because I was under the impression that that was Kaylee. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Oh. She must have come back. Yep. <laughs> okay. You've completed the look. You've got your Dead by Daylight link set on right now. You're good to go. Got the head to match everything else. Right, and then here's the dock with the boat gone, which is good. We don't want it to be there. Um. Let's go ahead and stay. That's it. Okay. That's the only decision that we had. I just don't think we would need Max for anything here. We got this under control. The table. Help me. Boy, I sure hope nobody tries to run back to the lodge in desperation. They won't be able to come through the front door. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Now who turned right. Nick? Is Nick it's still a like werewolf? The cartoons. Actually. Been off all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. <laughs> and die of hypothermia? No. Could have right, well, gotten in a boat now. in the middle of the lake. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. Alright. We gotta get a vantage point. Caitlin loves walking around the lodge with a gun. It's her favorite thing to do. There's a fire extinguisher here, just in case we need it. Um, hang on one second. I did turn the brightness up. It's still really dark. Like, look at this. Like, look, look at how dark it is. It's still really dark. I'll turn it up a little bit more, I guess. I... 70's good. 70's about as far as I'm willing to go. I know that probably doesn't help that much, but... You know... You can also turn up your brightness. It doesn't have to all be me. Oh, I thought that was... Let's fix camera angle here, okay. Um... We should probably, like, lock this or something. I don't know. Uh, can I go this way? It doesn't seem to want me to. It doesn't want me to go over there. I don't know why. Can I go? Ah, close it. Let's not close it. Okay. Yeah. Better. Yeah, that's something. That's what I was looking for. I wasn't sure where it was. What was this? Oh, nothing. Ugh. Can we... Caitlin, you're killing me. Okay. That was surprisingly difficult to navigate out of. Okay, do we wanna... What else do we wanna do here? Just uh, sweeping the perimeter, doing a doing a perimeter check. Keep out counselors only. Oh, apparently we can't go in there, even though we are a counselor. Um, what's going on here? There's some like 
Z fighting happening or I'm not sure what's going on there. I think the weather from outside is like going slightly over the border there inside. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay, I guess we'll go upstairs now. If you'll excuse me. Jelly Green Giant. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Oh no, it's blocked off. Okay. You can't go upstairs. I forgot. You know, this lodge does remind me a bit of the one in Until Dawn. I wouldn't be surprised if they used it as the stage for their climactic final scene, just like in Until Dawn, actually. Okay, let's go up this way. Right here. Dylan! Oh my gosh. I'm going to squeeze past you. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh, no way. Oh, I, I was almost stuck. Okay, I won't do that again. Yeah, I was... Uh, wow, I was almost stuck just then. That would have been really bad. Wait, there's another floor? Huh. Okay. Here's the bunks. What's this? Crumpled up piece of paper? With useless info on it? Jeez, MC really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Yeah, what's up with the money? When my mother and father founded Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp in 1953, so it was founded... It was founded not by Chris, but by, um... Constance and Jedediah. Okay. Um... Their vision was to create a space where children from across the nation could experience the true wonders of nature, and I'm proud to continue their legacy to this day. The Camp's Lodge has stood proud since we first opened our gates. This legacy, and indeed the lodge itself, ugh. Sorry if I made you yawn. Is now at risk. Having sought advice from a structural engineer, it appears crucial repair work is required on the masonry of the chimney column. Don't worry, your children are not in danger, but I must inform you that as of next year, we will be increasing camp fees by 5% per attendee. When times get tough, I am reminded of our camp motto, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. With this in mind, I hope that together we can make Hackett's Quarry stronger than ever. Thank you for your continued patronage. Yours with gratitude, Chris Hackett. I mean, that's not, 5% I assume is not a dollar. Because if so, it costs $20 to go to summer camp here, which is, I'm not really familiar with how much it costs to send your kids to summer camp, but 20 bucks seems insanely cheap. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Mm -hmm. The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's Jedediah and Constance with their eldest. Who's the eldest? I have a feeling it's Travis. Travis seems like the big brother. I could be wrong, but it just kind of seems like that. Chris has got little brother energy. What the hell? How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I yeah. kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Keep looking, prepare for attack. Why would I prepare for attack? I mean, it doesn't hurt. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. No. We're here to lead the way. Fuck mates for life, we're proud to proud say. say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. <laughs> <sighs> that would be me too. 
That would be me too if I was a counselor. Oh god. Oh, they're here. Showtime, motherfuckers. Okay, this is where the quarry's gotta deliver because the last se the lodge sequence in the final chapter of Until Dawn is awesome, iconic. Until Dawn's a great game, but it's also a flawed game in a lot of ways. But the the one reason it's like so way. revered is the final sequence is awesome. So this is what Jacob's up to. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. You better not be talking about Emma. You better not be talking about... Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. Yeah. I really wish that Jacob and Emma would contribute more to the group. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I feel bad for Jacob. But at the same time, these scenes are useless! Why did I keep you alive? Stay cool. Everything's gonna be okay. Just breathe. Of course, they're both comforting themselves right now. What the shit? Please be useful. What the? Are they going? They're going down the chimney. Um. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So is this Caleb? Gotta be. Wait. Wait. What's running gonna do? We've got a gun. Wow. These things are tall. Okay. Wow, that was a that was a butthole clincher right there. I knew that wasn't gonna do it. Okay, we need silver shells, dude. Emma has silver shells. Get into Mr. Hackett's office. Is that where we are? I think it is. No, it's not. Splitting up! Oh, Caitlin, no. No, no, no. We need silver shells. I can't help you. I'm sorry. You have a silver shell. Okay, it's chasing me. That's fine. Wait. Yes, I can. Silver shells. Can you please? Come on, Caitlin! Come this way! This way! Yeah. Talking to a TV. How about you go out there and you make yourself useful? Beam window. <sighs> I don't know, dude. If we shoot him on the beam, though, he might fall down. I don't know what what's what's the window option. We jump out the window. Oh, oh my god. Caitlyn's a badass. She didn't even flinch. That would have made me fall. If that thing jumped at me, I would have flinched. Run or hide? I don't know. Oh. 
no. It can, it can. Well, it. Why did you just leave the door open? You just leave it open. You just leave it open. I can't believe these people. The thing is, they catch the scent. Oh my god. Oh, we're fucked. I screwed up. I screwed up. Arr, his schnauch's not so good. Distract him from Dylan, at least. Poor Dylan, he's just in there with that thing, and no gun! Wait, how'd he get out? Okay, that worked. Okay, good. Get the silver shell, please. Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. No, 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 we get the silver shell. We get that silver shell, don't... What, Dylan, what's your master plan? Let's hide in this room. No, we're not doing that. Well, let's go into the kitchen. It'll be like Jurassic Park. Oh, I'll, I'll arm myself with a pan. Investigate. Path updated, oh gosh. A frying pan in the face, that should do it. Hey, I'm uh -huh. here. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. We need that silver shell. Is one, is one going to be enough, though? Oh my god. Don't miss. Ooh. Path chosen. Yeah, this is Caleb, right? Unless we just killed Nick, I have no idea. Fuck you! I got you, motherfucker. Way to go, Brenda. Yeah, oh my god, I knew it. Oh, just... I'm so glad I went with my plan. You would have lost a lot more than your just your hand, Dylan. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> These guys. Phew. That was fun. That was enjoyable. But Silas is still out there. I guess this we're gonna go back to Travis, Laura, and um Ryan. So if Emma's dead there, then what happens? Cause you don't get the silver shell. Whew. How did you do it? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> What? <laughs> that was really funny. She was like, Grab gun, take wheel. Uh. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get it. 
Take cover. Grab gun. Take cover, I guess? I don't know what to do here. I mean, we don't have... Do we have... No, we do have silver. Emergency brake? Laura, you crazy girl. That worked. Look at Travis. Go! <sighs> That's not it, though. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? <laughs> um... Hey, can we check on Ryan real quick? Anybody want to check on Ryan? Are we there yet? Oh my god. You're okay. Shut up. Been better, but... Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Oh my god, Please she is there. wearing she is wearing one of Constance's dresses. Look at that lens flare. Ooh. Okay, what the hell happened back here? Whoa. What? This is where we went off the road two months ago. Uh-huh. So Silas was the one that you saw on the road. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. That's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Huh? Normally? I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? I like the lighting here. It's cool. Um, Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. I'm glad that we're all standing... Uh, Six feet apart, leaving room for Jesus. Leaving room for Jesus and plenty of awkwardness. Guys, make sure you're six feet apart as you're walking down the trail, okay? Maximum awkward distance. Can't believe it's only 4.30 in the morning, that's crazy. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. Yep. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Wait, Ryan saw her? Really? I don't remember that. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Yeah. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Right. How did the fire start? That's the big question, isn't it? Was it started on really? purpose? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Yeah, seriously. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. 
Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. <laughs> because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. We mean, we could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Yeah. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter Sheesh. you are. <laughs> Jesus, Laura, give it a rest, dude. He's lost his mom, his brother, and his niece all in one night. All thanks to you, by this the is, way. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. You don't need to insult him on top of it. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Don't Shit. point the gun Sorry, at him. Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. You're wondering what I'm drinking? So it's boy. some Arnold Palmer. That must be it. Careful. Iced tea lemonade. <laughs> Delicious. Sorry, I'm just trying to lighten things up a little bit. Everything's so tense and serious. There he is. You see him? This, where we were earlier, he Jesus reconstructed Christ. his cage. Oh my God. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> Gotta put him out of his misery. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Ray's gun. Yeah. I don't. Why is she hesitating? Are you sure about this? Shoot. I think we have to shoot. Why wouldn't we shoot? It's. I mean, I know he's not hurting anybody out here for six years, apparently, but... Please, let's just... let's just go before we... we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I mean, it's pretty clear that he needed to be put out of his misery. Look, he, he built a cage for himself to go back into. You know? I think it's, I don't know. That was weird though, right? Wasn't it? They acted like it was the, it was the right decision to not kill him. Uh-oh, we're about to get it. We're about to get it. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I do. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. I even started to fall not in love even, with you. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the nights come to an end. No. 
Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, <laughs> whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Fantastic work, Grace. You're a vision as always. No. No, 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 no. No, Jason Mraz. Get him out of here. Oh, it's even worse. 2002 called. They want their music back. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. What is <laughs> the streamer mode music is insanely inappropriate. This is not I just want to reemphasize this is not the music that's in the normal game. Oh, Max Brindley alive. Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Bobby Hackett alive. Uninjured, Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. Jedediah, alive, thanks to Bobby fending off werewolf Chris. Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Chris Hackett, deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Jeez. Oh my god, Constance, deceased. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. That was... Awesome. Kaylee, deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter, Kaylee, was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Abigail, deceased. What's that last name? Blig? Abigail met her demise when Nick tore her head from her body. Jacob, alive. Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Nick, alive. Nick survived the night, and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. Emma, alive. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan, alive. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. That's not what happened. Caitlin saved his ass. Caitlin, alive. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Caleb, deceased. Abigail was able to pass silver shells to Caitlin during the attack in the lodge, which Caitlin used to kill Caleb. Travis, alive. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan, alive. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the White Wolf. Laura, alive. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Silas Vorez, dead. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Okay. Um... I certainly hope that we're going to get some sort of uh, epilogue here with everybody. Some kind of... Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Oh. Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not okay. the best writers there. I'm going to listen okay, to this real quick, but then we're going to the talk about this. Completely re Nice. Okay. They they went on and on and on and on and on on that podcast. To bizarre, yet bona fide. Oh my god, they're still going! Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton. Who even oh my argued? god. Oh my god, the podcast will not it's end. I have been sitting here for 15 minutes. But she said, plausible. it's just a prank, Anton. It's a reference to Until Dawn, when Emily said, it's just a Moving prank, on. Han. Tell me this One of my favorite lines. Oh, oh, they won't shut the fuck skin? up. Oh my god, it that was seriously like 15-20 minutes of the podcast. 
Okay, I have a lot of thoughts about this game. I guess there's no epilogue or anything. I thought maybe there would be. Well, we don't know because the credits aren't done yet, but I'll just start talking about what I thought about the game. Um, by the way, if you want to hear the podcast thing, I'm sure you can look it up on YouTube. It's just, it's a pacing breaker for me. I need to talk about what I thought about the game. So, let's first start with the most recent thing. Um, that ending is horrible. That ending is absolutely, like, unacceptably bad. It's like they ran out of time. I, I really enjoyed the game overall, actually. You may be surprised to learn I have a very positive opinion of the game. But that ending sucks. We don't... We don't get to find out what happens to, like, most of the characters. The final scene is Laura kills Silas with Travis and Ryan, and Ryan's just like, oh, gross, dude. And then it fades to black, and then it's just like, uh-huh, baba, here comes the sun. And then it, it flashes in like a where are they now thing. They had the nerve to pop up Nick alive, and it's him being all confused, covered in blood, being like, what? And he's gonna find out later that, um, you know, Abby's dead, and that he killed her. So, I don't know, I just... And then, and then you've got, and then you've got, um... And then you got Jacob. Last thing we saw of Jacob was him crying in the woods, in the fetal position, basically being like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Emma's in Mr. H's office. Like, nobody got to have a reunion. I'm just, I'm just kind of pissed. I'm pissed because it's like, it's like we went through all that effort to keep everyone alive except for Abby. I did pretty good, I think. Can we just, can we just admit that I did something pretty well? Not perfectly, but I kept everyone alive except for Abby. Um, all of the, all the good guys, anyway. Uh, and it's like there was no... Well, let's see. Let's see if there's anything here. I just got an achievement called Epilogue. I'm gonna be mad if it just puts us on the main menu. Wow. Wow. Why wouldn't you have... Why would you just have, like, a little one, like, sentence summary of what happens to them. We know what happens to them. We were there. Oh. I was really looking forward to seeing the storylines wrap up that we cultivated. I mean, what what is the point? They spend so much time in the game, for example. They spend so much time building up the budding relationship of Ryan and Dylan. Arguably the star relationship of the show because, let's face it, um, Nick and Abby have a couple problems that are uh, irresolvable. And Emma and Jacob, that's not going to happen. So, like, we don't even get to see what happens to them. They don't even end the game together. We don't even get to see them, like, reunite. And then we don't, we don't get to see Emma and Jacob reunite at all. Like, maybe the knights changed them. They spend so many of their interactions... Like, Emma and Jacob interact with each other more than any other characters in the game. And they end the game completely separate from each other, alone. And I realize that that's probably done because it's very possible for them to die early. And maybe they ran out of budget or time to really, like show what happens to everyone. It's just very disappointing for a choice game to end that way. I'm very put off by that. I usually don't have this strong of an opinion, but that was an incredibly disappointing. Especially considering how strong the content was up until that point. I was very pleased with the game up until the ending. I was very happy with it. I thought this was maybe not as Maybe not as, um, good as I nostalgically remember Until Dawn being. I'll have to replay Until Dawn and see, you know, what it was, what it was like. Maybe to make a proper comparison, but I thought this was a very strong game from Supermassive up until that point. I'd, I'd say this was better than all the Dark Pictures games, and I really liked Little Hope. I I talked to play about that in my video, uh, my, my finale video of Little Hope, how much I enjoyed that game. Despite people's backlash. Um, I thought this was very good though, but man, that just really kills it. 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of in shock. Because, like, all you have to do, get rid of this, get rid of the podcast segment, okay? No, I didn't want to hear, I, hearing Grace and Anton the, for 15 minutes was pissing me off. When all I wanted to hear about what were the characters that I just spent, how many hours with? Eight hours? Nine hours? All you have to do is do what you did with Until Dawn. Especially since they foreshadowed it. Remember when um, they were in the shower shower rooms and Ryan was like, from now on, take your phone out and take a photo or video. And Caitlin was like, the cops aren't going to believe us. We took the photo of the monster with Emma. Right? And so it would make sense for them to take us to like the police interrogation scenes like they did with Until Dawn with the credits. And then everybody has a little... It just has to be a couple sentences. I'm not, I mean, I know I said earlier I would love to see, like, Dylan and Ryan reunite, Emma and Jacob, you know. Caitlin and Jacob, I mean, they they go way back. There was a relationship there. You know, a friendship, but... You know, I would settle for them just doing the straight on talking to the camera like in Until Dawn. That was a very elegant way to wrap things up. Anyway, okay, I'll, I'll get off of it now. Hopefully I've made my point very clear. Oh, controller disconnected. I've been sitting here ranting and raving for so long. Another thing, too, that, I, that I'm a little surprised by. So in the Dark Pictures games, which are lower budget supermassive games, um, published under a different publisher, Bandai Namco, than, than this by 2K, but when you finish the game, you unlock extras. They have like behind the scenes featurettes, I think there's even like a model viewer or something like that. There's like, you can look at little like extras, like just little things here and there. And there is nothing. I've, I've unlocked nothing. New game, continue. Chapter select, movie mode. I don't know what movie mode is. Couch co-op. They're adding online later, by the way. There's no extras. That's just, it really feels like, if I had to guess, I would say that the release of this was rushed. Just from, just from that ending, it felt very put together, and there were a couple times when the pacing was awful. Like, in the house segment, when, uh, when you finally find Chris, which, by the way, what a blue ball. You, you, you get David Arquette for this game, and all we see him in is the initial sequences, and then, and then when he finally shows up in the game as a werewolf, you just blow his head off. It just seems like a waste. It's a waste. Was there a way to keep him alive? I mean, maybe that was just me. I mean, I shot him as soon as, cause I mean, I learned my lesson with uh, Nick and Abby. Um, anyway. But that whole part where they, they uncover him and the floor collapses, which how many times did the fucking floor collapse in this game? It happened a lot, didn't it? I mean, it happened with Laura and Ryan twice. Once when they're outside and they're just like, oh no, and they fall into the water, which was very, they fell like forever into it. And then it was really shallow when they stood up. I was surprised by that. I was like, Th those are some broken legs, but whatever. I can suspend disbelief. And then they fell again in the house. Wasn't there another segment like early on where, where they fell through the floor too? Different characters. Anyway, but like they fall through the floor and then suddenly like we're thrust into this chaotic scene Chris is attacking Bobby. Uh, Travis runs in with the gun. Laura and Ryan are coming to their senses. It's just, it was a really weirdly paced transition. And there were a couple things like that. There were a couple parts where people were just like kind of standing around awkwardly not saying anything. And the camera would shift perspectives a couple times and be like, what am I supposed to be looking at here? I don't really understand why those things happen. Um, but, you know, with those moments and, and awkward transitions and the pacing and things like that aside and the ending, I actually really liked this. And I'm willing to talk about the positives now. Um, I actually, like, I liked the characters overall. Um, I know I've been reading y'all's comments and y'all hate them overall. But I think, I mean, with the, with the writing, I see a lot of comments about the writing of a game like this. But it's written, just like Until Dawn, in a B-movie schlock way. And uh, the traditional way to write things like this, you know, it's like a, it's like an 80s, 70s slasher horror movie, right? 
You got you got annoying, dumb, horny teenagers, okay? And at a camp, nonetheless. And uh, you know, they're they all think they're a lot funnier than they really are. They're kind of annoying, kind of dumb, kind of mean. And uh you know, they were written like that. You know, so I, I saw a lot of people being like, the writing is so bad, writing so bad, nobody talks like this. But like, and like, I get I get where you're coming from, but I I look at it as it was written very well from a B-movie schlock type of way. It's a style, you know, it's, uh, and that's how Until Dawn was written too. And it was, uh, I mean, there's, there's not really any horror games that are kind of written like that that I could think of other than, than these. So I think it's unique and I think it's cool. And uh, the characters overall, you know, at first I was like, Screw these guys, you know, but then just like with until dawn towards the middle of the game I started being like well. Hey, wait a second. I actually want to help them. I want I want to help them out, you know, and um, You know cuz like in until dawn for example the first time Mike appeared on the scene. I was like um Uber douche get this guy out of my face I'm gonna let him die first chance I get and then by about halfway through until dawn. I was like I actually like Mike now very unexpected. I had the same kind of thing happen with this game, where at first, uh, with, with few exceptions, I never grew to like Emma. I never liked her. Um, well, she's really the only one that I didn't grow to like at all. I probably liked Emma less and less as the game went on. Jacob, I really didn't like at first, but he's just he's just a sensitive little guy, isn't he? Um, felt a little bad for him. With that said, he was useless completely useless to the group. He found that memory card on the camera was that was a four. I feel like there's just a lot of missed opportunities with stuff like that. Anyway, what was on the memory card? Ugh. Okay. So, um you know, uh Dylan, that was annoying at first and then eventually, eh, he's kind of a charmer, isn't he? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I thought Dylan was alright. I even liked Ryan towards the end. He's uh, very standoffish and introverted, but whatever. Max, lovable doofus. Laura. I just, I, mean, I I like Laura. I like characters like her. She's very, I don't know, strong-headed and, you know, I there were a couple times when I was like, okay, you're being a little mean right now. Um, a little unnecessarily uh, cruel quipping going on from her, but... Overall, I was fine with it, and, um, who am I forgetting? Oh yeah, Abby and Nick. Dude, Abby and Nick, what a nothing storyline. I can't believe, like, Nick turned into a werewolf, and then, like, basically he didn't matter to the story at all after that point. We even cured him, but we didn't even get to see him get cured. We saw Max transform back to normal. I'm not sure why. Uh, Nick, though... Oh well, um, I, I, I keep saying I'm gonna talk about the positives and then I go back to complaining, but um, I'm just really put off by the ending. I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, but you know, overall I, I did enjoy this. I felt like my choices mattered in a different way than Until Dawn. It kind of felt like you died really fast if you fucked up. Like, this was the type of game, like, you fuck up, you die. Uh, and Until Dawn I felt like with the exception of the final sequences, it was more of a build-up. It was more like, uh, you told him to do this, and then you told him to do that, and then, oops, now they're dead. You know, it's like, you had to kinda, for the most part, you kinda had to weave them down a certain path, I feel like, or or miss a QTE. There wasn't really any, like, missed QTE deaths in this one. I, well, I mean, I say that. I, like, hit all the QTEs. So maybe there were, and I just avoided them, actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, lots of positive things to say about the quarry. Um, lots of negative things, too. It's kind of a mixed bag. I'm really sad about the ending, because I feel like it kind of took the game from being, like, if I were to assign a numeric score to it, from, like, an 8 out of 10 to, like, a, to like a 6. I don't know. It's really... I feel like for a choice game, it's really important to have some kind of epilogue. Even the Dark the dark Pictures games have epilogues, and they have like a final scene. Why couldn't this one? It must just be a budget or, or I don't know, some kind of time constraint. That's really too bad. 
Um, one other thing I want to say about the game is that, um, boy, maybe I'm biased because, like, with the Bandai Namco published games by Supermassive, uh, they, they've always given me a code and I've always felt very valued by Bandai Namco. I did not get a code for this game at all from 2K, which, whatever, you know. But what I find kind of unforgivable is the streamer mode in this game, which, uh, under audio, streamer mode. So this is what I had on. It replaces licensed music tracks from the game with royalty-free alternatives. This not only replaced the music with, like, the worst, most out-of-place, inappropriate crap that I've ever heard. It, like, ruins the vibe. Not only did it do that, but the tracks that have the, the license-free, supposedly license-free tracks for influencers that they put on the game have been getting copyright claims on YouTube. I've just been uploading them and just been taking the claims on the chin. So basically, I don't make any money off of these videos. All these videos of the quarry, I haven't made any money off of them because of the copyright claims for streamer mode. Um, now, if I had turned that off, they would have had, like, Ariana Grande and stuff, so, you know, it's not like it was really an option for me to have streamer mode off, but I'm just really, it really puts in perspective, like, where you are in, in, in the side of these companies, I guess, is just, like, they cared so little about the streamer mode for this game that they not only put completely inappropriate music in it, but they're they're not even doing what they're supposed to do. They're getting copyright claims on the videos. They're getting muted vods on Twitch. I mean, what's the point? Did did they put did anyone put any time or effort into that setting? Like why even have it? It's just frustrating. Um so yeah, there's my little criticism for um 2K's influencer management style for this game. Uh feel like that was way off, but yeah. All right, that's about all I have to say for the quarry. I think if I had to put my super massive games in a power ranking, I would put Until Dawn at the top still. Uh, I'd put the quarry and Lil Hope below it. I don't know which one I would put over the other, frankly. Um, probably the quarry higher, but I'm just really been out of shape about that ending. Um, then House of Ashes. I know some people like it more than than I do. I really don't like it though, as much as most people. And uh, Man of Medan at the bottom. Well, actually, no, Man of Medan, and then below that, Hidden Agenda, the one that no one played besides me. I'm the only one that played it. I'm the only one that played Hidden Agenda on the entirety of YouTube. Um, and then below that, um, the Until Dawn VR prequel, which I also played, The Inpatient. That is the worst game that Supermassive has put out. Um, but they've been, you know, this is a, I would say this is one of the better ones. I really enjoyed it overall. And uh, hopefully you did too. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about the quarry. Um, I know that you will. I know you don't need my invitation, but feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And um, I will see you in the next video. I am going to be doing another video on this. I am going to be uh, killing everyone instead. I thought about doing one where everyone lives, but that's really just Abby. And after seeing the ending, it's not going to be worth it just to see her being like, oh, Abby lived. So I'm going to do one where everyone dies next. I think that'll be really fun. All right, I'll see you guys then. Think critically.